Also, I was going to say the other day, I was pulling up. I was going downtown to get uh, uh, to do that TV shoot, and I stopped at the red light at Roark Valley in seventy six. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed, like everywhere you go now, there's just it's marijuana in the air? Have yeah. you noticed that? Like in Vegas, I pull up to that red light and almost got high waiting on it to turn green. It was this this girl next to me was just getting to. Is it? Can you do that? Well, no. I mean, I, I know mean, it's not supposed to. You're not supposed to drive and smoke it, right? It's like well, driving and drinking. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Because she wasn't making it wasn't like a big deal. She had it between her fingers on the steering wheel like she was smoking a cigarette. No. And it was just. To. I mean, it was my truck was consumed with it. I, I I was like, what in the world's going on? Like she could she would get a, a DUI for that, right? I don't know. I, I don't I don't know the answer to that. You don't know. I I. I, I just I don't know how my question I would imagine. is. I know it's legal here, right? But it's just like buying beer is legal, but you can't drive and right. drink, right? Yeah, I would I would, Im- the- I would imagine she, there would be something. I don't know if it would be a DUI, a DWI. I, I don't know, but it would be it, oh, would, okay. it would be you know what I mean? Yeah, it would be okay. something for I was sure. Just, I, you know, just putting that out there. Also, uh, Randy Travis. We made the announcement. Randy yeah. Travis mm-hmm. is coming to the Clay Cooper Theater, ladies and gentlemen. We, say we went from marijuana to Randy Travis. I didn't have a. I didn't have another segue, uh, but those tickets just went on sale we yesterday. Probably could have thought of one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading my notes. Right. Uh, tickets went on sale yesterday. Randy, oh, hold on real quick. I got to ask you. What? Do you have a note in there about marijuana? Yeah, I had that story in there. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I just. I just wanted to share. Okay. I mean, we. we I drove up to a red light. I and, think he's just reminding people that. Mm. You're not supposed to be actually no, smoking no. it while you're driving. Right. No, I get that. I yeah. just, I didn't know. He said, I'm just reading my notes. So I was yes. curious if that was actually in his yeah. notes. Kevin, I got high sitting at a red light and, and was not smoking. <laughs> so you were, at, you were at Roark Valley. And 76. And 76. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to picture in my mind what's around there. Um, Nothing. I mean, you were right by the purple two for one building and the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So did you, did you, did, did you make a left then and uh-huh. pull into a Godfather's and. And oh, eat some I, pizza. <laughs> oh, dude, I was so hungry. I almost didn't make it to City Hall. I had to stop and get a bag of Cheetos. Mm. I was so fried. Uh, Randy Travis ticket sales went on yesterday. And uh, Tina and I went and saw, and Kate and the family went and saw the show up in Kansas City this spring. It was unbelievable. The most emotional concert I've ever been to because all you know, Randy Travis had a stroke s- s- yeah. <clears throat> several years back uh, and lost a lot of his mobility and his voice i mean he can't sing anymore and um so what they've done is they've got a guy named james dupree who i think was like american idol or america's got talent uh w- went really high on that show a different high yeah I mean, he went, he went way up on the you know what i mean and um so and he's got a great baritone voice he's perfect for it so they're doing tours now and it's randy travis's original band the band that backed him all those years Randy and his wife come out. That they've got this, you know, beautiful rug and a couch, and they're sitting right there on the stage. And the guy sings all sixteen number one hits of Randy's. And Randy's, they show a lot of in between songs. They show videos and him accepting his awards for entertainer, male entertainer, and all this stuff. And it's just, uh, it's and Randy, he he he, when this guy sings and he's getting ready to hit a, you know, like on a just a. Go, and he's hitting these low notes. Randy leans up off that couch and he starts smiling. He's like, you know what I mean? He's yeah. waiting for that. And when he hit that low note, he had, you know, point. It's just so awesome because, first of all, you feel terrible for the fact that he can't sing, but to see the joy that he has on that stage with his band, he couldn't stop looking at his band. They'd mm-hmm. take a fiddle ride and he'd look over and smile at them. It's just an unbelievable experience. Which mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't go to that, but I've seen some of the footage and stuff like that. It, it makes you think and really ponder that he's, for lack of a better term, trapped in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like he wants to do it. He knows he can do it. He knows he, what was. He he knows he he knows how to do it and all that. He just he can't yeah. physically do it. Yep. And and so, so to, and he man, I just can't imagine what that would be like. It's yeah I, right. Yeah. And as a, and watching Randy's wife too, just knowing that she's seeing that every single time they have a performance, she's reliving all of those memories. Yeah. As his wife, that I mean to me that was a lot too. 
It, mm. It's. I'm telling you, folks. It's if, really good. If, if there's anything you, anything you do next year, if you're a country music fan, even I don't, I don't even know if you even have to be a real country music fan to to watch this and enjoy this. Right. But. No, it's <sighs> it's such an inspirational for me, too. Thinking about gosh. God, why would you even allow him to lose his voice? But then when you see this on stage and you realize God's got another purpose for him. Yeah. And it's yeah. just amazing. It, it's just, it's such an inspirational show, I feel. I mean, it, it, save up your 60 bucks for the ticket or whatever. Yeah, you know. And it's when we saw that show, we're like, oh, 100% we got to get this. Right. And I, we went back and forth for a couple of months and finally made it happen. We're the last stop on his this tour, uh, which is Sunday, May 11th, Mother's Day. Oh, wow. Uh, 2025, Sunday night show. So And tickets are on sale. So you can call the Clay Cooper Theater, 417-332-2529. And I'm telling you, it's going to be a night you will not forget That's to, awesome. to see that. Mm -hmm. and, and again, Randy Travis, when he first came out, I thought this is the greatest country voice I've ever heard. I remember I was like 16 years old, and I heard that 1982 come on the radio, driving my dad's 72 Ford pickup, and thought, who in the world is this guy? And, I mean, I could sing every song Randy Travis ever cut, and I don't mean just the hits, every album cut that never played on the radio. I could mm -hmm. To this day, I could sing them. And, uh, and Caden's the same way. He loves yeah. every Randy Travis song. And uh, and for me, it was Merle Haggard, George Jones, and Randy Travis. That was it. That yep. that was it.